Kyle, Jamie, thanks for joining me in the back garden. It's, yeah, I just thought I'd mention that first, but we are in the, my back garden, which is brilliant. No cup of tea, it's too warm for that. Yeah, but we'll is. we'll move on swiftly. Um, Kyle, we'll start with you, obviously. We, we recently had the, the presentation evening. Uh, I just wanted to touch upon that really quite quickly. The lads that got the awards from all three teams deserved it, and, and people around the club rightfully got recognised. Uh, and I just wanted to sort of mention the fact that it was a brilliant evening, wasn't it? Fantastic evening. I think it um, kind of supports everything that we want to do with getting everyone together, the, the three teams. And like you said, there was a lot of success and a lot of people that won awards, and, and rightly so, and deserved, deservedly so. And the people that um, do the job for nothing and the volunteers and committee members that, that got recognised were thoroughly deserved. And it was just such a brilliant night to get everyone together and enjoy ourselves and let our hair down and, and see each other in different lights. Um, but we're now kind of gone past that now and it's now preparing for pre-season and what that will entail and we're, we're, we're excited and, and looking forward to those those times ahead and, and see where we go. Yeah, and Jamie, in terms of that preparation, it's probably started as soon as the last whistle was blown at Horn Dean, really. Um, and people that aren't involved in football don't sometimes realise that it is a never-ending beast. And um, in terms of how we are approaching things and our schedule, uh, is more or less complete uh, complete for pre-season now in terms of that preparation just how important is it to make sure that you know y yourself and Kyle are getting that spot on yeah I mean I mean we want to make sure that the lads are prepared just as much as we are as well and and it's about getting our mind and our bodies ready for for the start of it because it will be a grueling one we spoke about it and um but it's one but it's also going to bring us close together um got a few team bonding exercises and stuff like that which will be really really fun for the lads but also hopefully get that team spirit going and keep going from last season because it was a really good run that we had it felt like it all my time in football that that was the best sort of group of players I've actually played with and obviously coached and managed as well so it, it was you know a really good end to the season and it's just about keeping that momentum going in through the off season keeping your bodies in good enough shape but then getting them back up to where they need to be for the start of the season to you, come. Yeah, you both played at a good standard as, as players. Well, we've tried. Yeah. <laughs> and, and just in terms of, of pre-season, obviously, you know, a few people say, oh, I can't stand pre-season, it's difficult. What would you say the most important parts of a pre-season schedule are? I think it's instilling belief and, and resilience. Um, I think if there's a togetherness within the team, then they're going to go through you know the brick wall for each other and I think the lads have already shown that um, so you know our program is going to encapsulate all of that we're going to try and like Jamie said get them fit um, which is first and foremost I think most of them look after themselves anyway lots of team bonding sessions so lots of uh, work around that and then obviously the games that we've got we've got you know a good variety this year and um, obviously we just just announced hopefully Hamworthy um, they're going to come to our place I think it's on the 15th and that's our final season friendly so that's six in total and we've got our you know our business done early and that's really important and I guess the next part now is just trying to wrap up any additional signings that we want to add to the squad and and that's also going to be important because towards the end of the, se end of the season in my opinion we were lacking variety yeah you say? just a little bit of depth just a little bit of depth and variety so so we're, we're, we are looking we're not looking for an overhaul we're looking at two or three players to supplement what we've got and Hopefully, then we'll have a strong squad going into the start of the season. Yeah, and just how important was it, from your point of view, to to keep the bulk, if the vast, vast majority of, of what was already there, and what is a very, uh, we've said it before, but a very tight knit, strong group. Yeah, I, I think when we walked into the club, I thought, to be honest, we probably thought there was going to be more changes than than what we did. Um, but to change and just make a massive overhaul without giving people the opportunities would have been wrong. We gave them the opportunities and. Once we had um, our our tactics and our understanding of how we want to play right, we then went on our own beaten stretch, stretch, which which kind of made things easier coming into the end of the season. Um, and now we we look beyond what we've done and we look beyond in terms of what we can achieve. Team togetherness and um, being tactically astute it takes you a long way in this league, in, in my opinion, and that's why we were successful. Yeah, and Jamie, in terms of the type. Uh, Kyle just mentioned it, the type of player that, that you want to bring into the group, 
they have to kind of tick certain boxes, don't they, and be be the certain player for for, for the group, for you, for yourselves, and for the club. Yeah, yeah. You know, we've we've got um, an ethos, haven't we? We've got a, a sort of str where we want to go, and and where the club wants to be, and where we want to be as well. And you know, we are we are looking at young, like um, strong willed, and um, yeah, we we want we want players that are, are ready to get stuck in as well like and and that is a hard it's hard because football has changed i think yeah, from when we were changing yeah. uh, from when we were playing sorry so you know it's to get get youngsters like we've got at the moment who are willing to like you said go through a brick wall for us and for them and for their teammates it's hard to find but i think we, there's we've got a few in mind that we're going to look to hopefully bring in and and a few that are already coming pre-season as well, haven't we? Yeah, so, we've got some wild cards, haven't um, we? Yeah, so it'll be good. It'll be good to get everyone in. Obviously, the old faces, getting them all back in as well. And, and yeah, it's really good so far. Just keep going on that. Yeah, and uh, back to the pre-season schedule slightly. Is there anything that you would... So maybe from, from a fan looking on that's interested in, in how you kind of prepare and how you go about a pre-season pre schedule as a whole. Is there anything that you'd say fans can look out for in this particular schedule that you think could be uh, look at, of note? Obviously, we've got the game schedule, but w will it be an emphasis on uh, you know fitness and mentality as well as as well as them games and trying to impress in them? Well, I'm a bit old school, and, and probably Jamie's the newer school. So, first and foremost, I want to go back to when I was in pre-season. And I get sports science is, is new, but the first couple of weeks is going to be brutal and it's going to be mind over matter and it's going to be, let's do this together as a team. And then once we've got through that period and they know they can do that, then we go into the games and there are some really good games there. They're going to be games where we're going to have the football more than other games like Dorchester where we're not going to have the football. So we're going to have to build upon what we've done, be tactically astute and we're going to have to work really hard on adding more to what we can do during a game and making a difference during the game. I don't want to say too much because I feel like from a defensive point of view we've done really really well. It's now building upon that and making us a better all-round side um, which pre-season will allow us to do. It gives us more time than we've ever had but on the other hand you've got to remember that we are just you know at the bottom end of the semi-professional level and we don't have that much contact time, so we're not going to go above and beyond. I think Horndean are probably the best side I've ever seen at this level with possession-wise. We're not going to reach those standards yet, but if you keep a side together, you don't know where you're going to go. And mm. that's what I'm saying to the lads. For as long as we can keep you, who knows where we can go? But our model is there's, you know, there's a strong chance that those lads will move on. We've had a lot of interest from a lot of clubs for a lot of our lads. They've decided to stay. But our model and our cycle will change at the end of the season if we're successful. Yeah, it will. Just finally, it feels in some ways uh, quite a long way off, but the start of the season will soon be upon us. <laughs> it, you know, before you know it, that we'll be playing that first league game followed by that first FA Cup <laughs> game and it'll all be back to normal. So I guess my question on that one is, it's exciting times for, for the club. It, you know, it's, it's another new start with the pre-season campaign followed quickly by the league campaign. And... Like from from a from a management team point of view, would your message definitely be keep a look out and and keep coming and supporting us and see what we can do? Yeah, I mean, I think we've shown towards the end of last season, especially like what where we are and and what we want to do. And you know, I I completely hope that we keep the support going because that was amazing, especially at home. Look, we didn't lose a game I don't no, think to, uh, when we came in unbeaten at home and that is due to the fans the support we get from the committee and everyone like yourselves you know and and that starts from there really um, but yeah I think we've shown in the last two games against first and second ultimately wasn't it um, that we can push teams that are up the top and, and that's where you know ultimately we want to be what we want to be doing next season is achieving a either a similar or better position and and strive to be better and I think that's what we'll do yeah pr yeah uh, yeah support that progression is key and a top 10 finish is probably where I would like to finish um, but again if you go on a good run you don't know where that could end um, and if I'm going to be completely frank I, I want some of the young lads that that fans are coming up to watch I want them to go and better themselves and if that's with us then that's great if that's not with us and they prove that they are 
ready to go at the next step or the step beyond that, then that'll that'll be a delight yeah. for us. It yeah, means that we've done a really good job. Um, and just, yeah, I just want the committee and I want everybody that, that comes to the games to enjoy themselves. We talk about this, what's the point in doing it if you're just getting yourself stressed out every week? Yeah. We want people to come, have fun, enjoy what they're, they're watching. They know that the lads are going to be giving everything for the shirt and they do do that. Um, and uh, where that takes us in the season, who knows? Playoffs this season, just being introduced. You know, there's, there's a magic ball, there's, you know, <laughs> who knows? Could, could we get there? But top 10 finish is where I would like to finish. I definitely think that we enjoy it. That's for sure. That's what that, and that's. I think if if anything in football, that's the most important thing. Uh, Kyle, Jamie, thanks for joining me. In. We'll definitely see you soon. It's going to be before we know it. I'm sure. Oh, cheers, Josh. Cheers. cheers. Josh.